Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Thursday, December 17th, I think, 2015. It is the 17th. It is Thursday. I have five more working days for the year. I have a cup of Starbucks in my hand because it's Thursday. No, that's not. Well, sort of. I'm working from home tomorrow. Tomorrow also, or today, also marks the last day that my boss is working. So, while I still have more work days to go, I will at least be Sans boss. So, which is never bad. (laughs) I don't think I mentioned it, but we now have tickets for Saturday morning to see Star Wars The Force Awakens. The daughter is coming over. And she's going to come see it with us, so it's going to be like old times. Um, She was actually over last night doing some baking. And and she had thrown on the TV um, Jedi. And so got to see the end of that. I was only kind of half watching it because, you know, it's more fun to watch it from the beginning. And by the time I got home, they... I think when I got home, they were just leaving for Endor. So it was like from that point on. But I am really looking forward to uh, experiencing Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm kind of keeping my... The excitement about it, I'm, I'm kind of keeping it reined in a little bit. You know, just in case it's, it's not as good as all the Star Wars people would, would like. Although I will say I've seen a couple, a couple early um, comments on it, and people seem to like it. So I am, I am uh, hopeful based on that reaction. One of the things that I've been doing is, is there's a new podcast out there that I've been listening to called the Wookie Rookie Podcast, which, first of all, probably has to get some sort of award for probably the most clever Star Wars title of a podcast ever. Uh, so what it is, it's hosted by Katarina Bordet, who I believe lives in Austria, and her husband, Mick Bordet. Now, if you're in the podcasting circles, those names are probably familiar because they are the hosts of the Every Photo Tells podcast. And then they've got a guy, and I meant to look up his last name. His, his first name is Chris. I forget. I forget what um, his last name is. But he was also on. He was on a cooking podcast. Sounds like uh, a while back. And but he's a, he's he's a Star Wars geek, and so. The reason for the show is is that Katarina had never seen the entire Star Wars saga. It sounds like she had seen Episode 2 as a teenager. That's that's the episode I'm listening to right now is her reaction to Episode 2. But she hasn't seen the rest of them. And so she's watching them and, and then they're talking about them. It starts off with an episode zero, which was just, you know, explaining the premise of the show. So that's why they made it episode zero, uh, so it wouldn't affect the lining up of the movies. And it is interesting, and it is is fun to listen to. My biggest beef with it is, is that they're watching them in the wrong order. Um... They've chosen to, to, to have her watch the movies in numerical order and not uh, theatrical release order. And I think that's a mistake. And I did, if you're new to this podcast, I actually spent a whole episode talking about why I think that's a mistake. Uh, so I won't rehash all of that here. Uh, if you're interested in my scintillating views on the proper order to watch Star Wars and why I think it should be in theatrical release order, 
Uh, then, you know, just go look for Star Wars on the penslinger.com website and you'll find it. But, you know, this is kind of the proof for what I was saying in that episode because part of it is because the episodes are flawed thus far. But, you know, Katarina, I mean, and she does seem to have, you know, she. she She's got some basic knowledge of the Star Wars universe. I mean, I, she, she knows that that Anakin turns into Darth Vader, blah, blah, blah. Um, but there's some stuff she doesn't get, you know, that she doesn't know. You know, Chris was making some... Uh, yeah, I forget what it was. You know, but you know, he, he, he'll, he'll make some reference to, like... It's so like Empire, you know. Maybe he'll do Yoda with this. There is no, there is no do. There is only, there is no try. There is only do, or whatever. That was a horrible Yoda. I used to be able to do a better Yoda than that. Uck. Um, suck, I do. Yes. There we go. <laughs> That's better. I guess it's too early for Yoda. <laughs> but um, and she didn't get it because she hadn't she hadn't seen that episode. Yeah, she's she's lacking a connection to the characters. At least thus far, I'm in mid. I'm I'm literally in the middle of of episode two of the podcast, which is where they're talking about episode two of the movies. That's how you know. That's how they're doing it. Uh, so, and you know what? It would have been really cool if they watched it in theatrical order, but then still number their number their podcasts like the movies. <laughs> so the podcast was four, five, six, one, two, three. Uh, if you went by date. Uh, that might that might mess some people up, but it might mess mess some podcasters up, but I still think it'd be funny. But you know, so she's 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 not feeling a great attachment to the characters. Um and, and, and I think that's because you, you're lacking you're lacking the basis of the first movies. You know, the the foundation for I mean, because everybody's new. I mean, everybody's going to be new at some point when she gets into it. But I think there's a, a particular thrill. If you've seen episode four, and I won't, I'm not going to spoil anything just in case she decides to listen to this. Um, but I think there is, is a bit of a thrill in episode, you know, so in episode four you meet Obi-Wan as an old man. Uh, and we meet Darth Vader, essentially, as an old man, not that you can really tell. And... In the course of the of the first trilogy, the first from the theatrical release perspective, we meet Yoda as an older man, you know. And then to go back in Episode One, you're going back a generation. You know, part of the thrill in seeing Obi Wan is you're seeing him as a young man. You're seeing him in his prime. Then you got new characters too that you're just being introduced to, like Qui Gon Jinn and you know Padme. You don't really have any, you know, Padme is not really a character in the in the in the next ones. Um, so, so there are there are new characters, but there are existing characters as well. Um, you know, and and part of the fun of watching. The prequels. And I do like the prequels. I, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I'm not one of these people that says they do not exist. I, you know, I enjoy the prequels. There are, are aspects of the prequels that I enjoy. Are they flawed movies? Yes. They have problems. But, you know, lots of movies have problems. But that doesn't mean I'm going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. But, uh, you know, part of the joy is of watching those movies in my opinion, is seeing the progression toward what you saw in A New Hope. So it's going to be really interesting when, when, when Katarina gets there 
you know, not only from a character perspective, okay, now Obi-Wan's old, um, you know, and all this stuff, but it's also going to be interesting how it affects her, her viewing experience from the special effects area. Now, Star Wars special effects are very good, but they are a lot different, depending on which version she watches, they are a lot different from the special effects in the prequels. You know, other than whatever, you know, CGI stuff that Lucas has added in whatever edition that she watches, you know, all the effects are practical, at least in the first two. I don't, I don't even think there's any CGI in the, in the, uh, in the, in Jedi either. I think that, you know, I think that was kind of before that. So they're all practical effects. So it's got a different look and feel to it. Um than the other ones and so I don't know if that's going to affect her viewing pleasure because maybe the difference maybe it's going to feel a little older or maybe less maybe it's not going to stand up as well I guess I'll say in comparison perhaps I don't know well out to see we, I, I don't think she's released that episode yet so I don't know I'm speculating but it is kind of a fun podcast to, to hear somebody who's not seen this you know, who's an adult watching this for the first time? Uh, it is interesting to kind of go go through that with her, sort of vicariously. You have a bit of of a audio voyeur, in case you hadn't figured that out by now. I think most podcast listeners are. But it's called the Wookie Rookie Podcast. Um, she just added just last night a Facebook group that she added me to that I happily accepted. Oh Lord broken down car um, and all these people just sitting behind it while we whiz past them. don't get that uh, so she just started a, a Facebook group that she added added uh, me to overnight overnight my time uh, like I say she's in Austria I think she's either Austrian or German I, I'm not totally sure on her nationality her husband Mick I believe is from Scotland which is funny because he, you know, he speaks from with a Scottish accent, and every now and then, oh dear, every now and then you'll you'll hear a bit of Scottish come out in her. Okay, good turn. There was a there was an ambulance coming up behind. I wasn't. I'm in a three lane road. I wasn't quite sure what I had to do, but he turned off, so I don't have to worry about him. Uh, so he's from Scotland, but every now and then she'll say something with a bit of a Scottish accent, which is kind of funny because I know she's not from Scotland. And then Chris is a Brit. So, you know, it, it's fun. I enjoy listening to people uh, that aren't Americans, you know, talk about things. Because, you know, that's one of the reasons I like the, um, I saw that years ago podcast. They're both from London. I got to do that. And you know, it's got kind of a different, you, know, you get a different take on it. It's a, you know, different culture. And, and they'll pick out different things. And, and, and that makes it interesting. So, for me. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend you check it out. Uh, as always, I will put the um, the links and everything. I'll put that in the show notes, so that uh, if you want to check it out, you can very easily go to penslinger.com and um, and subscribe. And you know, the good thing is, is it's going to be a relatively short podcast because there's going to be a you know if you count episode zero, there's going to be a maximum of I'm going to say eight episodes, counting episode zero. I don't know if the plan is to get these watched so that she can watch Force Awakens um, when it comes out. I'm not. I, they may have said that. I don't recall. Uh, but but I you know so so but it's obviously going to be a relatively short run thing. So it's not like you're you are uh, committing to a podcast that's going to go on indefinitely. So yeah, check it out. They also have a really cool... I, I love the picture. They, uh, it looks like she combed her hair over her face <laughs> and then put her glasses on. So, you know, that's, that's her Wookiee get-up, I guess. It kind of looks more like Cousin It from the Adam family to me, but it's still, it's still a funny, funny little pic. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to let this go. Tomorrow will be Friday, and I'll be talking to you then. So be seeing you.